morning all welcome back i've taken quite a few months off from filming but today i am back and i can't wait to show you my allotment truth be told i found filming to be quite difficult uh, with two little kids and it's actually quite exhausting at times so i just decided to take some time off just for myself and my family for some quality time uh, but I've come back to so many views so many lovely amazing kind comments so many subscribers so uh, thanks very much guys and let's have a look at the allotment And because my last potato video was so exciting and so popular, I've decided to start this new year for me with a potato video as well. Planting potato video of my first earlies. Welcome to my very messy polygonal. It's just so seriously just needs to have a very, very good clean. Everywhere is just terrible. I can't believe I've not managed to get to it yet, but it'll be perfect for us to go ahead and plant these potatoes. So I've got my Red Duke of York potatoes. These are first earlies and they're absolutely great for baking and roasting and mashing. And if you're like me, someone who doesn't like potatoes that, that are too waxy, this is a perfect variety to go for. And I will be reusing my containers from last year I've not washed them. Uh, there's not really any need to wash them unless you have some sort of pest or disease issues. And um, these are the 40 litres containers. So in terms of earlies and first earlies, I do tend to pop one seed per five litres. I just find that's the best way to make um, the most out of my containers. So yeah, let's go ahead. Oh, right, let's get this done. Got lots of compost here. This is just a general compost. I'll add a little bit of potash. This is the potato fertilizer that I use and I find that it's really, really good. And I also pop in a bit of fish, blood and bone.
that's it you guys that's all done it's literally taken me maybe about five minutes if that to do all of this 13 seed potatoes in and i don't need to do anything else with them i've topped the soil right up to the top which basically means i won't need to touch them now until it's harvest i won't need to weed them i'll only need to give them a bit of water if they need it and yeah such an easy way hassle-free way of gardening if uh, you want to try it and just to remind you guys i use for the potatoes uh, to get really big good harvest is the fish blood and bone i've got the potash and i've also got the organic potato fertilizer and it's absolutely amazing i swear by it so do go in and try and let me know what your results are as well so yeah watch this space and i'll see you next time bye